866,000 detached homes. Roughly 2.2 million homes across the province with the majority of them based in the major metropolitan areas of Metro Vancouver, around Okanagan Lake, and on the south side of Vancouver Island. Lots of people needing to find a rental. Smells like an opportunity. Smells like an opportunity to make some money. To make some money for taxes. Now, of course, that's not the only reason this was introduced. It was introduced, and if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, it's the BC Speculation and Vacancy Tax, introduced in 2018. And it was introduced to help people find rental properties in the middle of a housing crunch or a housing shortage. Imagine what it's like to be a renter out there right now, or even over the course of the last few years, where the market has just been so, so busy, there's been so much money in real estate, and you just wanna live in the community that you work and play. So you look online for rental ads, you show up to go look at these properties and they may or may not work, but really you don't even know if you're gonna get them. And there's so few and far between out there that the prices for rents are absolutely sky high. This is really challenging and really difficult to be a renter. This tax was designed to help alleviate some of that. Today's video is all about the BC speculation and vacancy tax. And you're gonna leave this video knowing exactly what it is, why it was introduced, and also, is it working? If you're a renter, you're also gonna know which communities you might have the biggest opportunity to find a rental in, and you're gonna feel good because not only are you gonna have opportunity in those communities, but you're gonna have a much better chance of securing a rental after watching this video. And that's not it. If you're somebody that's looking at renting your home or maybe you're looking at buying a home, make sure you hang around to the very end because we got a 10 question quiz that most people can't get right with answers that you really wanna know if you're looking at buying a home. Plus, you're gonna get access to two extra bonuses, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video. But for now, let's jump into this. What's good, everybody? It's Darren German from The German Group, where we know you've only got one chance to either buy or sell your next home. So we're here to help you get it right. You're gonna see a subscribe button pop up right there, and we want you to smash that. The reason is, is because we release incredible content videos once or twice a week to help you become either a better home owner or a better home buyer or seller. So do us a solid. If you like the content, then subscribe. So this video was really spawned by something that went out in the mail that you may have received last week if you're a homeowner in certain areas of British Columbia, and that was related to the speculation and vacancy tax. This tax was introduced in 2018, and what it was really brought in for was to help bring any vacant properties that are were probably in Metro Vancouver is where it started, but that were sitting empty to bring them to the market to either sell them so people could buy the home or to open them up to the rental pool so people had something to rent. Originally, this tax only applied to certain areas and it's the areas that you could probably guess. You know, we call it the Capital District or kind of the Victoria area. You've of course got Metro Vancouver and Surrey and Langley and Abbotsford in there. And you've got the areas around Kelowna and surrounding. BC government has always been very quick to say that 99% of British Columbians aren't going to pay this tax. They're not going to have any involvement with it. They just simply have to declare that they live in their property as a principal residence, or maybe you do rent a property out, but you're doing good if you're doing that because that's what they want. They want you to rent these properties out. So that means there's 1% out there that are paying. And what the payment is, is it's a half a percent of your assessed value or for anybody that's a foreign owner or a satellite family, it can be as high as 2%, which is pretty significant. A million dollar home, as an example, well, half a percent on that, that's $5,000. And 2%, well, that's $20,000. So it can be quite a big tax. This is also, just as an FYI, completely separate from the Vancouver empty homes tax, which is not what this video is about. There's different qualifications for that. But if you lived in the city of Vancouver and had a vacant home, you're getting taxed twice. Why? Apparently foreign and satellite families are actually paying the majority of this tax as well. It's not necessarily all British Columbians. And I'm going to break down those numbers for you in a moment. In 2020 alone, though, this tax raised over $81 million for the province. A report released by the BC government in June of 2022 reported a revenue from 2018 to 2020 of over $231 million that has come in due to this tax, which is really supposed to be going to support affordable housing for British Columbians. Now, one of the new things that have come in as of 2023 is there is six more communities that have been added to the list for the BC speculation and vacancy tax. So not only does the tax apply to most municipalities in the lower mainland and Southern Vancouver Island, as well as Kelowna, West Kelowna, Nanaimo, and the district of Lanceville, 
Now the provincial government says it will expand it to Lions Bay and Squamish, as well as the Vancouver Island communities of North Cowichan, Duncan, Ladysmith, and Lake Cowichan. So we talked about the revenue and whether it's been working. And yeah, I guess obviously it has been working. That's a ton of revenue that they've generated from this. $231 million in just the first three years. Revenue aside though, how many rental units have actually been added to the pool since this tax came in? According to the report from June 2022, in Metro Vancouver alone, there is now almost 20,000 new condo units that have been added to the market just from introducing this tax because people don't want to pay it. They either put their properties up for sale or they rent them out. This means, of course, that these numbers are likely going to dwindle as time goes on because people will, again, rather than pay the tax, they'll sell or they will rent out their places. So who's paying it? Like, where is this money coming from? Is it all from foreigners or where is it coming from? Well, to answer that question, let's look at the old trusty computer because it's going to tell you exactly who's paying it. The speculation and vacancy tax revenue by owner type from 2018 to 2020 was reported as BC residents paying almost $23 million over the last three years followed by other Canadians at 16.4 million. Now, foreign owners came in at 85.9 million and satellite families at 70.4 million. There's another column that doesn't suggest where they come from, coming in at 9 million and 26.4 million from undeclared sources for a total of 231.1 million. So approximately 10% of the tax revenue came from BC residents and another 7% came from Canadians in general. Non-residents are really paying the bulk of this tax. So there's a little bit about the history of the speculation and vacancy tax and the communities where if you're looking to rent, you're going to have the most opportunity to go find something. And I have a question for you. I'd love you to leave your answer in the comments below. Do you think it's working? If you're a renter out there, what are you experiencing? Or maybe you've rented in the last few years. How hard was it or how easy was it to find a place to rent? Did you even notice a difference when this came in? And what kind of environment is it like for you when you show up to go rent a property right now? I'd be really curious to know. So again, please leave your comments below. I also promise you access to our quiz with 10 questions that most people can't get right. And I've left a link down below for you to be able to access that. And there's two really cool bonuses attached to that once you complete it. So check it out if you're interested. I think you'll really have some fun filling it out nonetheless. And of course, while you're down there, if you did want to speak directly to me and my team about either buying or selling a home in the areas that we service of South Surrey, White Rock and surrounding areas in Surrey, book a time in our calendar. We'd be happy to chat with you and let you know what we can do to help. So this video has hopefully taught you lots about the speculation and vacancy tax. Don't forget to put in your declaration if you are someone watching this that owns their property and lives in it and live in one of the areas where you must declare because you don't want to get stuck paying that. And if you're one of the many renters out there looking to find a place, I wish you the best of luck because hey, I know it's tough out there, but it will get better. Thanks for watching and we'll definitely look forward to seeing you on the next video because you subscribed, right?